Hi, I'm Josh Barnett, and I let AI write me an art talk. Everything in the asterisks here are prompts, and the rest is completely written by AI. So to start off, my art talk, Joshua Barnett from Etobicoke School of the Arts. Standing on the stage of OCAD presenting, Joshua Barnett. Joshua Barnett, Gallery of Contemporary Photography. He walks through him slowly and confidently through the dust storm, which is gathering in the cloud ring. No visible wind. His hair is combed as in, he is in full costume and costume come off. He, works with, he walks with purpose, and in the presence of the gallery of professional photographers, he rips on his costume mask. He walks through the crowds to see Barry Smitrovics with his camera. Art talk at OCAD University. Joshua Barnett from Etobicoke School of the Arts speaks on absolute abstract expressionism. Joshua Barnett. To start my art talk, I will be explaining a concept of absolute abstraction. I know some people can say art can only be creative when it's done completely in black and white. Well, I know how difficult black and white can be for some people. What I'm saying is that we are never with black and white. Black and white is a form of expression. What you see here isn't abstract. For an instance, use your imagination. What is your favorite color? If you're thinking pink, you're saying pink is your favorite color. Use your imagination and say pink. Do you like pink? If you say yes, use your imagination, you might think purple. Josh then got up and walked to the other side of the stage at OCAD University to continue the talk. He got behind the camera to illustrate the talk he began. Gerald continues to move the camera with the angle from where the talk began. The crowd gets restless. The floor is completely full. Both people move back the rows. His goon begins to move. The camera stays in this angle until it reaches the two people going to the stage. Gerald gets on the stage and he proceeds to talk to the people on the floor of the room. Josh begins the talk. Begins then, Josh then begins to talk. He, stands, he then stands back and takes control of the camera to move the, the left and continues to work with the main picture at the top of the screen. Gerald then follows Josh's lead and pushes the picture forward in the direction of where the camera was before it was pushed in the direction of the hall. He then says, not abstract, but slightly louder than Joshua. Gerald says, I'm helping Josh by starting with the black and white examples. You see this picture of George Stubbs. If you study it properly, you realize its form follows the space the picture is in. We could say, under Josh's direction, that the image on the screen is either a bunch of digital information or a collection of blank squares, um, or something on its own. But in truth, I've always been into a flat color image. That is why I knew all along that I would design the images. I knew we wanted to create the Perfect flat and black, black and white style. I knew when we were going to have this big time. I knew I wanted to find something that would appeal to a wider audience. And the size of the audience would allow for a much larger amount of things to be achieved. In fact, what really attracted me was the way that every piece had a dreamy abstract. Oh, sorry. Um, to start my art talk, I always like to start with a quote from somewhere, someone. The quote is from Matthew Berry. <laughs> Only when we are in the presence of someone new gives you the freedom to create. All right, here we go. This is Joshua Barnett, and for the next four minutes I'll be, or so, I'll be talking about my work, my method of working, and my goals for the future. The work in this room can be loosely divided into two categories, sketches or patches of a piece, and chisels, a piece for which I've completed the item. I'll also be using the medium of cello or bows in some of the pieces. I have a strong interest in photography as well as art. In my case, however, I have a natural talent for every level of fine art. <laughs> I'm not an art critic, so I'm not worried about semantics here. That is all for today.